There is no doubt about the similarities between Mariah Carey and Ariana Grande. Ari has been compared to Mimi ever since her career began, in all aspects including voice, appearance, sound, and even diva persona. However, in spite of their similarities, there were rumors of a significant quarrel between the two, which prompted celebrities as well as the internet to set them against each other. How did the singer's purported rivalry begin, and have they been able to get ahead of their disagreements? Keep watching to learn more about the ongoing dispute between Grande and Carrie. First things first, let's take a quick look at the journey of Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande Butera is an American singer-songwriter, actor, and singer. She is recognized as a pop legend and a significant player in popular music, and she is well known for her unique usage of the whistle register and four-octave vocal range. Grande's awards include two Grammys, one Brit Award, nine MTV Video Music Awards, two Billboard Music Awards, three American Music Awards, and 36 Guinness World Records. She was considered one of the best vocalists of all time by Rolling Stone. At the age of 15, Grande made her Broadway debut in the musical 13 in 2008. The role she played as Cat Valentine in the Nickelodeon television series, Victorious from 2010 to 2013, and its spin-off Sam and Cat from 2013 to 2014 propelled her to great success. In 2011, she became a Republic Records signee. Grande's 2013 debut studio album, Yours Truly, featured R&B and retropop influences and produced the hit single, The Way. Her second album, My Everything, engaged with EDM and featured the singles, Problem, Break Free, and Bang Bang, which propelled her to global fame. With her third album, Dangerous Woman, in 2016, Grande continued to explore pop and R&B, cementing her popularity both critically and commercially. Grande's fourth and fifth albums, Sweetener in 2018 and Thank You, next in 2019, were influenced by her personal struggles. She broke the record for the most number one premieres in Hot 100 history with the title track of her trap-influenced sixth album, Positions in 2020, as well as the collaborations Stuck With You with Justin Bieber and Rain On Me with Lady Gaga, the latter of which won the Grammy Award for Best Pop Duo or Group Performance. Grande's seventh album, Eternal Sunshine in 2024, includes the hit singles Yes And and We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love. She returned to acting in the Don't Look Up in 2021. Grande is one of the world's best-selling music artists, selling over 85 million records worldwide. With 98 billion streams to date, Grande ranks as one of the most streamed performers of every decade. She was the most streamed female performer of the 2010s and has the second most amount of songs with over a billion streams for a woman on Spotify with 14. Grande also has a sizable social media following. With over 380 million followers, she is one of the most followed people on Instagram and stands among the most subscribed and followed musicians on YouTube and Spotify. Outside of music and cinema, Grande has collaborated with numerous humanitarian groups and advocated for animal rights, mental health, and gender, racial, and LGBT equality. Of course, her journey doesn't stop there. She continues to shine as a star in the industry. Now, how can we forget the iconic performer, Mariah Carey? Let's take a look at her journey. Mariah Carey is an American singer-songwriter, record producer, and actress. She is a significant character in popular music, recognized for her five-octave vocal range, melismatic singing style, and signature use of the whistle register. Carrie is also recognized for inspiring vocal styles, combining hip-hop and pop across her collaborations, spreading remixes, and assisting in the breaking down of racial barriers in popular culture for multiracial Americans. Guinness World Records refers to her as the Songbird Supreme, and Rolling Stone ranks her as the fifth greatest singer of all time in 2023. She has also been dubbed the Queen of Christmas due to the continuing success of her Christmas music, particularly the 1994 song, All I Want for Christmas Is You, which is the best-selling holiday song by a female artist. Carrie gained stardom in 1990 with her self-titled first album, which was produced under the support of Columbia Records executive Tommy Mottola, which she ultimately wed in 1993. 
She is the sole artist to have had their first five singles reach number one on the U.S. Billboard. Hot, 100, from vision of love to emotions. Carrie's best-selling albums, Music Box in 1993 and Daydream in 1995 produced hit singles like Dream Lover, Hero, Without You, Fantasy, Always Be My Baby, and One Sweet Day. After leaving Matola, Carrie embraced a new urban image and began mixing more hip-hop and R&B elements into his albums Butterfly in 1997 and Rainbow in 1999. By the end of the 1990s, Billboard had named Carrie as the decade's greatest artist in the United States. She departed Columbia Records in 2001, following 11 years of straight U.S. number one hits, and signed with Virgin Records. After a highly publicized breakdown and the failure of her 2001 film Glitter and its associated soundtrack, Virgin purchased Carrie's contract, and she signed with Island Records the following year. After a brief, moderately successful time, the Emancipation of Mimi became one of the best-selling albums of the 21st century. Its second single, We Belong Together, topped the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 toward the conclusion of the decade in the 2000s. Her following endeavors included roles in the films Precious, The Butler, A Christmas Melody, and the Lego Batman movie, conducting multiple concert residencies, and releasing her memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, in 2020. Carrie is a best-selling music artist, having sold over 220 million records worldwide, and has been inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, the National Recording Registry at the Library of Congress, and the Long Island Music and Entertainment Hall of Fame. In 2019, Billboard crowned her the top-charting female solo artist, taking into account both album and song chart performance. Carrie is the most certified female artist in the United States and 10th overall, with 75 million certified album units. Her accolades include six Grammy Awards, including the Global Impact Award, 10 American Music Awards, 20 Billboard Music Awards, and 12 Guinness World Records. The truth is that Ariana Grande wouldn't be exactly where she is now if she didn't spend her time cosplaying as a diverse Mariah Carey. Artists from every aspect of life seek inspiration from someplace. Well, that's what all the greats do. Michael Jackson was inspired by James Brown and Fred Astaire. Tina Turner and Janet Jackson were among those that influenced Beyonce. Many celebrities have encouraged themselves after greats, legends, and even underdogs since the beginning of their profession. So, what differentiates Ariana Grande and Mariah Carey? Let us take a look at Ariana Grande and Mariah Carey's feud. I believe that most of us who follow celebrity gossip and other such topics are already aware that many individuals in the industry dislike Ariana Grande for various reasons. We are already aware of her feud with Jeanette McCurdy and a few others. The vocals and whistling tones provided fuel for the Mariah verses. Ariana comparisons, which is precisely what you did. Every time Ariana performed the way, Mimi's name was brought up, and it appears that you couldn't click on a Mariah-related video on YouTube without seeing Ariana mentioned in the comments by her millions of die-hard Arianators. Knowing that Ariana's own team regarded her as the next Mariah Carey, something she never refuted openly, Mariah was not pleased. This feud began in 2012 when Ariana Grande posted a version of Mariah Carey's classic song, Emotions, on YouTube, which quickly went viral. This was before Ariana launched her initial album. So for many individuals, this was their first time hearing Ariana's voice. Then, she soon began to be similar to Mariah Carey. So I think we can all agree that they have comparable singing styles. On the other hand, when others began referring to Ariana as the new Mariah Carey or a younger version of Mariah Carey, it appears that Mariah Carey became extremely upset. So when this was brought up in interviews with Mariah, she made it clear that she wasn't fond of it. Mariah may come across as chilly at times, and we should understand why. The media made her feel as if she were being replaced with a fresher, younger image, which is quite unpleasant and impolite. People soon began setting the two against one another in addition to comparing them. As we all know, their singing styles are similar. They are both noted for their greatest tones. Many magazines and fan accounts publish stories such as Ariana Grande vs. Mariah Carey. Is it suitable for people to compare Ariana Grande and Mariah Carey? Who is better? 
Ariana Grande or Mariah Carey. So this has already sparked a rivalry between the two. Nick Cannon, Mariah's separated husband, was interviewed on Vlad TV and asked about the feud between Mariah and Ariana. He almost verified it. He said, this is what Mariah hates and Ariana made the cardinal mistake of saying, or I don't even know if it was her, but it was associated, he said. It was like the next or the new Mariah Carey. And she's like, the F asterisk asterisk K does that mean? I'm the Mariah Carey. Why do you need another one? Why do you need the next one? A video of the two doing carpool karaoke became popular on social media as well. Mariah seemed to be upset and fed up with Ariana. As a result, the perception that there was a feud persisted. However, it was later discovered that the video was a fraud and had been manipulated. With the comparison circulating within the industry, it was anticipated that Carrie would have been delighted by it and the ladies would eventually band together to strengthen their vocal forces. However, the excellent performer was not really pleased with the constant comparisons. Soon after, the two were believed to have a severe feud, prompting the internet to continually put them into one another in memes and humorous hoax videos. Some feel Carrie appeared to confirm her feud with Grande during an episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen in 2016. The singer then revealed that she had no idea who the Into You diva was, delivering the standard, I don't know her statement. However, when Carrie was asked on The Breakfast Club how she felt about Grande being compared to a younger version of herself, she did not appear happy. First of all, I'm still young because I discount numbers. Numerically speaking, I stopped counting at 17, Carrie said. That being said, she wished everybody who followed in her footsteps should succeed in their chosen job. After host Charlemagne the God quoted Jay-Z, stating, Don't compare me to nobody. I'm offended. Carrie agreed with him. In an interview with the Recording Academy, Ariana was asked how she felt about being compared to Mariah Carey, and she replied, I take it as a huge compliment because Mariah is a queen vocalist. While comparisons are unavoidable in the music industry, they frequently cause conflict when artists believe their own identities are displaced. Mariah Carey and Ariana Grande put their supposed feud to rest in 2019. Though the women never discussed their reported rivalry, they appeared to put it aside in March 2019, when Grande shared a message on her Instagram story, wishing Carrie a happy anniversary. She refers to her birthdays as anniversaries. Happy anniversary, queen of everything, the Seven Rings singer wrote. Loved you then, love you now, love you tomorrow. Carrie later uploaded the remark on her Instagram story, accompanied by a charming, genuine response. Thank you, da Ling at Ariana Grande. Since then, the two have cooperated on several songs, the most recent of which being a remix of Ariana's new single, Yes, and featuring Mariah Carey. The next year, they collaborated to re-record Carey's festive hit, Oh Santa, with Jennifer Hudson, another strong voice. In addition to re-recording the Christmas song, the three of them collaborated to create the music video. Thank you at EM Jude and at Ariana Grande for this fabulous moment I'll always remember. Carrie remarked on Instagram after sharing a photograph of herself in between the two musicians. This is not the first time Grande and Carrie have worked together. In 2019, Carrie created a new video for the classic song, All I Want for Christmas Is You, and invited a number of celebrities to participate. One of the celebrities was Grande. In her 2020 Netflix documentary, Ariana Grande, Excuse Me, I Love You, Grande discussed her reaction to Carrie's request. In a scene where she is on the phone with her then-manager Scooter Braun, Grande asks, Does that mean she likes me? He responds, She actually likes you a lot. The fact that she thought of me is like very soul-shaking, Grande said before getting emotional. Few rivalries in mainstream music have garnered as much public attention as the one between Ariana Grande and Mariah Carey. Both divas have incredible vocal abilities and hordes of loyal followers, but their relationship has been far from cordial. The hatred between these two superstar singers has been smoldering for years, driven by evaluations, subtle punches, and media conjecture. In conclusion, while the conflict between Ariana Grande and Mariah Carey might never be settled in the viewpoints of their admirers or the media, it is evident that both musicians have carved out distinct positions in the music industry. 
Their vocal abilities and accomplishments in pop culture are unquestionable, and perhaps someday they can find an agreement despite their supposed opposition. While the online interaction may not have seemed like a huge deal to others, Ariana Tours and Lambs couldn't contain their excitement as it appeared like the two divas were finally on good terms. Now that the drama is behind them, there is hope the vocalists will soon join forces and create the collaboration of the century. Ariana did not actually copy her career. I ask you all not to take the matter too seriously. Mariah and Ariana are undeniably matched. It's really wonderful to be motivated by others. It is inappropriate to directly copy an artist's entire character while downplaying the impact they made on your own career. Ariana Grande has built a tremendous career for herself. She would have a bright future in her career. As both keep topping the music rankings and inspire the next generation of singers, fans have to trust that whatever dissatisfaction remains, it will give way to mutual admiration and, possibly, future collaborations. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to share your ideas and beliefs in the comments section below, and stay tuned for more actual celebrity stories.